Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I uh, skipped a step and I already have my hair up in a ponytail, so we don't have to worry about that later in the video. But today I'm going to do a soft rose gold makeup look. I actually had three makeup looks in mind. Took the opinion of my sister on which one she wanted to see and she said rose gold. So um, as February is the next month, uh, more soft pink romantic looks will be coming. Hopefully I can get them all done, but um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Subscribe to my channel if you aren't already, and we're gonna go ahead and jump in because this video is gonna be forever long. Primer time. I actually used up all of my e.l.f. Mineral Infused Face Primer, which is a big, a big frown, but I'm going to use my Laura Geller Spackle Hydrating Moisturizing Under Makeup Primer. If you have dry skin, you absolutely need this in your life. Since I am doing a soft rose gold look, I want to have a nice dewy base. I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth in the shade 110 Porcelain. This is an amazing drugstore foundation. I'm just going to find a brush. This is the only foundation I think I have that does not have a pump. I'm going to take the Merle Norman Dual Action Concealer in the shade Light. This is my favorite concealer ever. It's the only concealer I've ever found that does not crease on me. I'm still testing out this powder. So we're going to use this to set our concealer today. This is the e.l.f. Finishing Powder in Fair Light. I've been testing this out for the past week. And it's good, but I don't know my final thoughts on it yet. Uh, face products are those types of things that I think I need to try out several times with several different uh, foundations. I'm only going to set underneath my eyes because I want to have a nice glowy, dewy base. I'm going to switch up my contour a little bit. I usually contour with the e.l.f. contour palette, but today I'm going to use the Too Faced The Little Black Book of Bronzers. Now, I've said this before, but I will say it again in case you haven't seen any of my previous videos. I don't know if the black book is available anymore, but I do know that all the bronzers inside, I believe, are available individually. So, hopefully that helps. I'm going to mix together Milk Chocolate Soleil and Chocolate Soleil because this one's just a little bit too light and this one's just a little bit too dark for my skin tone right now. So, I'm going to mix them together. They are both matte and I'm going to contour with those. I'm even using a different brush to contour. Who am I? So I'm going to bronze using my favorite bronzer. I know you guys are probably sick of seeing this, especially if you follow me on Snapchat, but I'm going to use the Laura Geller Baked Body Frosting All Over Face and Body Glow and Tahitian Glow. This is just my favorite bronzer and to have this, I want to have a nice dewy glowy base and this bronzer is perfect for that and it gives you a gorgeous summer goddess glow even though it's literally negative five outside so i took my hair down it was like pulling my scalp so we're just gonna have to uh deal with the hair down today but i'm going to put on two blushes because i want this nice peachy but glowy look so i'm going to put on the elf baked blush first and peachy cheeky I seriously have no idea if this is still available or not. Or not. I've had this for ever, but it is one of my favorite blushes. Very lightly going to put on the LA Color Spice Blush. This is like a darker color, obviously, but um, this is available at like every Dollar Tree ever, and it is a really nice blush, but it is really pigmented. So I'm going to be very careful with it. To match our rose gold eye today, I'm going to use a rose gold highlighter. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Precious Petals. I heard that these were limited edition, but I think I saw them at Meyer the other day. So, um, I don't, I don't know, but, uh, hopefully they're still available. Priming with, you guessed it, the Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. I only have two eye primers to choose from, and, um... This one is just, the hap happens to be the one that I have a backup of, so we're going to use this one. Today we are going to use a palette that I have not touched in a hot minute, but it is a good one. This is the Urban Decay Naked 3, and in case you haven't seen what the inside looks like, this is what it looks like. I broke the mirror out, long story, but I'm going to take the shade Strange, which is this matte cream shade right here. I'm going to use that to set that primer. 
Now I'm going to pick up the shade Limit, which is this matte shade right here. There's only three mattes in here, and I will end up using them all. So we're just going to pick this one up and very messily put this in our crease. Now I'm going to take the, sh the, the same brush in the shade Nooner, which is this one right here. It's the only other matte in this entire palette. And I'm going to pick that up. Put that in my crease as well, but a little bit lower. I'm going to mix Limit and Nooner together and run that across my lower lash line. Alright, so I'm going to pick up a um, mauve brown and I'm going to pick mine up from the Pure My Little Pony the Movie palette. And I'm going to pick up the shade Generosity, which is this one right here, but if you have any color similar, you can use that one. You don't have to have both of these palettes. Put that on the outer edge. Want to have a little bit of dimension in our soft look. That's why I didn't go in with a brown or a black, because I want it to be soft. Mix Buzz and Trick together these two right here. Trick is a perfect rose gold, but I want it to have a little bit more pink, which is why I'm adding buzz. I'm going to put on some glitter glue. This is the Too Faced Glitter Glue Shadow Insurance. I tried this, I think, in my last video, and I'm going to use it again just because I think the rose gold needs some help. So I'm going to use my finger and put buzz and trick. I'm going to use the shade Strange. And just put it right here. To highlight my inner corner, I'm going to use the Stila Eyeshadow in Kitten. It is a champagne color, and I think it would look really nice with this rose gold. I do want a little bit of smokiness across the lower lash lines. I'm going to take the Lorac Front of the Line Pro Eyeliner. This one is in the shade Black. And I'm going to put this in my waterline and a little bit on the lower lash line and smoke it out. I have to get kind of close to my mirror, though, so... Sorry if I crop this out. I'm going to apply the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. And I will be right back. I was told that I need to try out the Urban Decay Vice Special Effects Lip Gloss. <laughs> I think that's what it's called. This one is in the shade White Lie. And it's a lip, lip top coat. That is what they are called. And um, I was told I need to try these out. So I'm going to do that in this video. But feel free to wear really any lip could go with this. But I would recommend a soft pink to go with the soft rose theme. So that's what that looks like. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, well I have the Urban Decay Back Talk Comfort Matte Lipstick. Which is a gorgeous, gorgeous pink. It is... Stunning. So I actually saw that this was on display inside Ulta. These two mixed together and I was told that I needed to try this. So um, I bought them both. So we're just going to test them out right here right now. This lipstick. Stunning. So this is the shade Back Talk. Okay. Um, this lipstick. Amazing. I need to go buy a million of these because it's so creamy, so pigmented so comfortable. I love it. But they do smell like crayons. Like crayons. Like that's what it smells like. But um, I still love it. So I would normally leave it like this. But since I was told I need to try out these. I, um, I'm going to try it out. So this is White Lie. Yeah, I'm, not I'm kind of nervous about this. Um, my final thoughts on the lip top coats. At least this particular one. Uh, I don't. I don't love them. I don't love them. Uh, first off, the shimmer when you rub your lips together kind of dies down and you're left with this really awkward blue hue. So I applied more to the bottom lip and it just looks like, on screen it looks like I have a piece of tin foil stuck to my lip. But um, in person it just looks like I took blue craft glitter and just rubbed it across my lips. So I don't, don't like that. I would pass on the lip top coat. I would recommend the lipsticks. Um... Yeah, I'm actually going to take this off because I cannot, I don't vibe with that. I'm just going to reapply Back Talk. I like Back Talk a lot better by itself. I think it looks a lot better by itself. So please subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and comment down below what you want to see next or tell me on social media and I will do it for you. So um, yeah, I will see you in my next video.